Evaluating existing but unused data derived from overlay testers could be a key in creating longer-lasting pavements. Researchers with the University of Texas at El Paso looked at mixed design characteristics in combination with that mixture's fatigue cracking resistance numbers. TxDOT uh, put all of their kind of eggs in one basket, if you will, uh, with the overlay tester 10 plus years ago. Uh, other states are using, you know, semicircular bending beam, these other tests. And on a national level at one point, they compared all of them. And really, their uh, standard deviations and coefficient of variation on all of these tests were all very, very high. Uh, overlay was a little bit better. So, and it was developed in Texas. So we naturally said that's the one we want to uh, progress with. The issue with this uh, test was uh, the variability. Uh, you know, what, the way they run this test is you test how many cycles it takes for the specimen to fully crack from bottom to top. And the variability of the number of cycles that it took for this to, to happen was a lot greater than 20%. And this was always an issue that TxDOT had. But if you look at the load versus cycle, you would see that this test behaves very, very well. So we start describing that curve looking at a, an equation. And from that equation, you come up with an index. And that index seemed to be very repeatable. And not only that, it was repeatable. We were also being able to delineate between the different mixes. The problem was when you get close to the marginal mixes, you know, it, it's very difficult to interpret if one test you run three times and one says that it's good, the other one says it's bad, and the third one it says uh, good or bad, doesn't matter. So you, you don't have a good feeling. Now, we consistently get three results that all three of them are bad or all three of them are good, even at the margin. So there is more confidence in the results that you get from the system because the results are more repeatable. This is a national thing that everybody's looking at, a balanced mix design process, and everybody has the same thought that you have to balance cracking and you have to balance rutting. To my knowledge, at, at this point with the new analysis, this has the lowest coefficient of variation. So this is now a reliable cracking test. It gives you a much higher level of confidence on that cracking side. And so I think to balance them, you have to have both cracking and rutting um, so that we can move forward with this balanced mix design. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.